Hello there! So I was asked to take a look at First Zapper. I've never given a duck about this launcher cause ammo is kinda expensive and why exactly should we care if we have fat man? <laughs> but in this update we can have a two shot version. So it suddenly became OP. B -b 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 basically we have sappers with different flavors, uh, cherry, cola, quantum and uh, just water. Three of these launchers deals boom damage, water just speeds nonsense damage. Well, for real, this damage number has no sense. So in this video we're gonna see what's up with Zapper <laughs> that uh, benefits from the same buffs as Fat Man and gonna make some sort of conclusion as you wish. As everyone already knows, Quantum version is OP, everything else is not. And uh, here Puppy Hawk as well suffers from glow side perk, plus 60% more damage. And uh, I go quite glowy myself, meaning bloody build. And water just humiliates him, double humiliation. Well, sadly quad doesn't work here, so there will be no quadruple destruction for Quantums. Anti-armor is not super beneficial because description damage is quite high, so damage reduction coef will be like 1% or close to 1. Any damage buffer uh, would be better. Ah, by the way, tank killer will not work here because our dude is not a pistol or rifle, which is obvious I guess, it is a launcher. And Fat Man is a stronger launcher that is affected by a stabilized perk which gives 45% armor penetration and has a larger radius of explosion. Okie dokie, as you can see Bloody Zapper does less damage, so basically 2 shot is the only viable option we have. Let's go back to Puppy Hulk, shall we? Here you can see that anti-armor performs a little bit better than quad version, bloody can't kill puppy hog, and to shot, yes, it is the best what you can have. Another good question, if explosive H3 modification will make it stronger, and uh, nope, <laughs> surprise surprise it doesn't work, but additional critical damage doesn't seem to be super great for this weapon. Only 200 damage and that's all. Someone asked me if last shot gonna work, well I already knew that it gonna work and uh, turns out it is actually quite epic. Here I lowered my damage a little bit and uh, increased puppy's resistance. You probably gonna experience a different outcome, but last shot is good with this weapon. Believe me. And if number wise, last shot gives me 500 more damage. Radius of explosion is lower than Fat Man offers, but not that low. <laughs> Here we have around 70 feet and uh, Fat Man goes beyond 80 feet or somewhere around this number. And the maximum distance to hit target is around 500 feet, like with any other weapon. Well, the absolute maximum is 500. I've tested it and I know. As I stated earlier, ammo is quite expensive to craft. And uh, you can't farm it. Or maybe I just have no clue how. But you can let me know in the comment section down below. Or just tell me how you're doing out there. Something about weather. <laughs> Oh, how the game sucks, I read everything. By the way, speaking about Fat Man, well, you can't farm ammo here as well, but something they will drop. So, of course, you're gonna spend more mini nukes here. And finally, speaking of VATS gameplay, yes, you can use it successfully in VATS until you die. Yukis Dokis, ladies and gents, big thank you for watching, I'll see you later, bye bye bye, bye bye.